Dean, 2 1 again. Uh, what did you make of it? Yeah, we had an awful start. We spoke about not giving Woke and Chief free kicks because they're a very physical side. They've got five or six really big lads, uh, six foot plus. Um, and they're very strong from restarts, which I said to you yesterday as well. So I was a bit frustrated. I'd say it's probably the word is a bit stronger than that, to be honest with you, than the Chief free, free kicks we give away at the start of the first half. And then we did brilliant to come back in the game. So a lot of character. Maz got his goal. Great header from a corner. Uh, great delivery from Harley, and we were on top and I felt we needed to score again, we didn't. And then right at the end of the half, we've just gone mad. And uh, I went a bit mad at half time, I have to be honest, and I'm not usually like that, but we worked so hard to come back in the game, and they've got a one-on-one -on -one against us. They've had many entries against us in the last four minutes of the, of the first half, so I was frustrated at that. But, all in all, we had a good chat at half time, a strong staying chat. And uh, the players showed the character. I said if we're going to keep creeping up the division, we have to come here and win today. Minimum, not get beat. And in the end, I thought we started the second half excellent. Um, and we should have scored again. We were on top on the front foot. Never managed to do that. And I thought we nullified them. I know Oxo had a great save to make, um, which, he, which he made in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, he's made two great saves really for us today. But he, a goalkeeper like Oxo, that's what, that's what he's good at. That's what he's all about. And then Maz, to be fair, Poacher's goal again. And a great team, collective performance on a blustery, wintry uh, afternoon here at Woking. So I'm very proud of everybody. So three goals in, in two games for Adam Marriott. Now you must be pleased. Goal scorer. I've, I've no doubt that Maz would score goals. Once I, I'm a big believer if we keep creating chances, we'll score goals. Keep creating them. And that's what we've continued to do in, in the majority of the games, to be honest with you. And he keeps getting in the right areas, the right zones. He's smart, he's clever, uses his body well. And uh, he's got on the end of a he's got on the end of a great delivery by Sir Hat, and uh, we're delighted. It was quite a cagey affair for, for uh, some points in the game with uh, uh, Oxford making some fantastic saves. And what do you think that was down to? Just the way they play, you know, they're very physical, restart team, big and strong. Um, and then obviously the wind, the conditions, it's blowing a gale here today. You know what I mean? So we just had to show character, togetherness, grit. Our supporters drove us home. Sang up throughout the whole game. Our supporters are amazing today, and um, they have been in the, in the majority of the games. Um, and other force too, they're a little bit quiet, but we've built that together. And you can see it, it grows and it comes with results. <clears throat> and I'm just really proud of our players and proud of our football club today because it's a great victory. We're frustrated to concede the way we conceded because we know they're very strong from restart. It's a big, it's a big advantage of theirs with their physicality and their size. But um, you know, we're missing some big players today for us. I know they were missing their main marksman, to be fair, Campbell. Um, but we were missing some big players in Powell and that. So the character we showed um, was fantastic. Uh, great togetherness. And like I said to the lads before, you, you ain't going to get given anything in this division. You have to earn everything. The tackles, we did tackle on Rob Hall. It was a leg breaking challenge, in my opinion. Um, it's, it's knee high and a weak refereeing, in my opinion, on that, on that situation, or that scenario. And Jamie Torley's gone in. Some of the tackles, Harry Taylor, Jamie Torley. Today's all about tackling, fight, bite, and then can a little bit of quality do the business for us, and it, and it did. So that has more obviously set up the winning goal, and it was, uh, he, he played fantastically well when he came on. Come on, he made a good impact, he's got good speed. The game would suit it, sir. We could get, him to, get it to him in wide areas. He had a good shot, sort of drilled across the goal as well on a, on a volley. Um, he's got good, like I say, he's got good speed, good dribbler. He knows where the goal is, a really good finisher. Um, obviously, I believe in Serha. The big question for Serha is can he uh, be reliable without the ball? Can he keep working hard? And um, yeah, he's come on and made a really strong impact on the game, so I'm delighted for him. Our supporters were pushing us on, even uh, even going 1 0 down early on, right throughout the match. Yeah, they were amazing. Uh, what we needed, sometimes you need your supporters to give the team a lift, and that's what we needed, and, and they did that. So, you know, at a crucial time in the game. Um, and we've kept them, hopefully, they're going to have a great weekend now. They'll be buzzing going home now. So, uh, I'm delighted for their, for their supporters because we have to remember the last couple of years have been really tough for their supporters and they've stuck through the football club through thick and thin. They are the lifeblood of the football club and uh, without them this football club doesn't run. So uh, we'd like to thank them for their positive support today. And, and 90 minute winners are always sweet, aren't they? Yeah, they are sweet, yeah. yeah. They're a great feeling, you know, but they always think I like, oh, made a change. I took Maz off and then put on uh, Ben. Um, so you, you throw Ben when you're thinking, right, don't give away any fouls, don't go out to City, don't let them. And they got a corner, we're in the end and we managed to deal with that. So, yeah, very sweet and uh, delighted with the victory.